Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is still Monday, July the 6th, and it's 420. I think it was 240 before. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to just share this little story with you. Just to show you what things are coming to, like you didn't already know. But <clears throat> it's from Hard News TV, where they say new, where truth is like archaeology, and we're always digging for it. <laughs> I love that. Well, she starts off talking about how we all know the, some of the Walmarts were turned into FEMA camps. And she gets into how Sam Walton was worked for the Central Intelligence Agency when he was in the war. Um, anyway, uh, I wanted you to listen to... Uh, a little bit of this and then I'll just share the link here let me play it drive through church services the police were uh, taking okay. people I went did not far. go to church in drive uh, hell, I'm sorry I went too far okay okay so y'all all remember when the laws first came out that people could not go to church in drive through church services the police were uh, taking people's um, license plate numbers down, and they were being fined. So that one was in Mississippi. This article was in New York. Three churches challenged New York County's ban on driving services. Then this one was in Chattanooga. There was a ban on driving services. Then this article was in um, Mississippi. It was talking about... Um, the police shutting down drive-in services. So we've all seen that. Yeah, and that one was particularly about Easter. Anyone trying to have a Easter service uh, <clears throat> would be fined or whatever it said. Uh, church service after mayor banned. There's an ad. You can't see it all because she's just showing you a picture. Uh, Church service after mayor banned all in-person Easter worship amid coronavirus lockdown. All right. Services. So we've all seen that. Now I want y'all to keep that picture of Walmart in your head while I show y'all this. So this was from 10 years ago when then Janet Napolitano, who was the, um, no, this was more than that because 2008... Uh, she was the um, she was the secretary of the Dep Department of Homeland Security under Clinton. So this is farther back than that. Yeah. So Janet Napolitano says, "Hi, I'm with DHS, Walmart, and Department of Homeland Security have teamed up." So remember that. Remember that Walmart and Walmart. Department of Homeland Security have teamed up. Now let's hear this public service announcement. I'm Janet Napolitano, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security begins with hometown security. That's why I'm pleased that Walmart is helping to make our communities more safe and secure. Right. If you see something suspicious in the parking lot or in the store, say something immediately. Report suspicious activity to your local police or sheriff. If you need help, ask a Walmart manager for assistance. Thank you for doing your part to help keep our hometowns. So why is Walmart... I listened to this. <laughs> this has killed me. And the Department of Homeland Security teaming up. Y'all think about that. Walmart is supposed to be a private retail company, okay? Why would a private business endeavor team up with the U.S. government, okay? Well, y'all remember, Good question. Sam Walton was military intelligence, okay? I did a whole video on him last year. Drafted into the U.S. Army in 1942, Sam Walton served stateside as a communication officer in Army intelligence. In okay, now I'm going to go past that. And now, let's see, I want to get to... Okay. 
Now, I just showed y'all all the churches that could not have drive-in services, right? Well, look at this. This is from yesterday, July 3rd. Walmart is transforming 160 parking lots into drive-in movie theaters. So you can go to Walmart that has teamed up with the Department of Homeland Security and watch movies in Walmart's parking lot, but you can't go see the preacher on the screen preach. You know, the first thing I thought about was, yeah, I'll bet if you can't go to the movies, if they're even open, they've got so many seats blocked off, so you'll keep social distancing. I don't even know if the movies are open. But imagine all the, the Hollywood uh, actors, actresses, producers, all the people involved in making these big movies that go out to our theaters. they got to have somewhere to show them. Or they're going to lose a lot of money. And actors and actresses are not going to get paid. And they got to come up with something. So voila. Walmart is making drive-in movies in their parking lots. Now I used to love to go to a drive-in movie. I'm sure you would set your radio, your car radio to a certain uh, channel. Whereas before, you'd have to pick that bulky thing up off the pole and bring... Some of you may be too young to even realize what a drive-in movie was. <laughs> I grew up going to drive-in movies. My parents, they used to have playground equipment in the front on sand, right under the big screen. And they'd take us down there. We'd play on the... They'd wear us out get us in the back of the station wagon that's when there were four of us I can remember it maybe Jerry too he would have been a baby okay so maybe there was five of us and uh, they'd make a, a, our own popcorn mom would make a jug of Kool-Aid and as far as I can remember dad might have brought his own beverage uh, but anyway he never overdid it, but um, he enjoyed a beer now and then. And we, they'd have cartoons first, so we'd lay on our tummies and be like this <laughs> to see through the windshield watching our drive-in movie cartoons. And then they'd say, all right, kids, now you climb on back in there and go to sleep. And we'd get in a our bedding I don't think we had sleeping bags but anyway we'd go to sleep and they'd get to be at the movies oh what a perfect way for parents with five kids to get to go to the movies well anyway they phased them out and now <laughs> Walmart's bringing them back so those movies they've made in Hollywood can be shown that's the first thing that came to my mind it's bad enough they don't let churches do this have a pastor preaching over a radio station where everybody can stay in their car and hear him that's just oh it's just we're so straight up communist and this is not for our benefit but for the benefit of the people who make the movies so they can get, get some money off of their movies and yet this is going to be played out like this is being done for us. You just watch and see. Well, anyway, I won't play the rest of it. I'll put the link in the description box if you want to hear the whole thing. Again, it's called July 4th, 2020. This is truly a prison planet. Hard News, the channel is Hard News TV 2. All separate words. TV is capitalized in the number two. Okay. So with that, I'll say bye for now. Y'all, um, we're at the end. I'm tell you what, we know church. There's people, I don't know if people are, I don't, I know my friend here, they're not back in church yet. And 
I don't know anybody else who used to go to church, so I don't know if they're back in church. Are any churches back in church? Does anybody know? I don't know. I, I th There may be in some states. I don't know. I guess that's up to the governor. I don't know. There's, um, I just wondered. Anyway, with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.